The automotive world meets in sunny Southern California in L.A. for the 2008 Los Angeles Auto Show, overshadowed by threatening bankruptcies in the U.S. auto industry. While General Motors, Chrysler, and Ford are asking for $25 million from the U.S. Congress, California's Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger presents this year's award for Green Car of the Year. The proud winner is the VW Jetta with its TDI clean diesel powertrain. Also on display at the VW stand, the only seven-seater van made especially for the American market and outfitted with European technology. The next few days, the Rutan will be out in showrooms in Canada and the USA. VW is also competing with its clean diesel technology in a desert rally in the class of trophy trucks with its Baja Touareg TDI. At Audi, there's the new A6 and S6 to be admired. along with the Audi Q5 TDI, which already celebrated its U.S. debut in October as an exclusive part of the Audi Mileage Marathon, a special rally from New York to L.A., a test of stamina and fuel efficiency over 7,700 kilometers, with outstanding average fuel economy at 7.1 liters of diesel per 100 kilometers. Mini E is the name of the world premiere celebrated by the lifestyle brand of BMW. To charge this electric Mini, there's a special device you plug into your wall socket. BMW continues to push its fuel-saving efficient dynamics technology. Toyota's new compact crossover model for the U.S. market goes by the name of Venza. A world premiere from Japan? This study of a Toyota Camry with compressed natural gas hybrid technology, the first time a car maker combines hybrid technology with an alternative fuel. Toyota's luxury division Lexus is in LA with a whole host of new products. Leading the charge, the world premiere of the new RX series. The new RX 450H with its tried and true Lexus hybrid drive on board generates 295 horsepower. The regular RX 350 without hybrid technology has 274 horsepower. What both have in common? Automatic part-time all-wheel drive and 10 airbags. Brand new on the American market, the IS 250C convertible. Mazda introduces the successor to the Mazda 2. In model year 2010, the completely newly developed compact will be much more dynamic than before. At Suzuki, the philosophy is live large, drive small. An example is the new compact SUV, the SX4. Mercedes-Benz presents the results of its GLK challenge at the LA show. Tuning companies from all over the world entered the contest of turning the Mercedes GLK into a new creation with new, sometimes outlandish ideas. The GLK Urban Whip is one you can hardly recognize as a GLK. The Pikes Peak Rally Racer features a V6 hybrid engine beneath its hood. Brabus, the German company known for its refining of Mercedes cars, comes up with a GLK Wide Star. Brand new and extremely exclusive, the SL65 AMG Black Series, a super sports car with 670 horsepower and 1,000 newton meters of torque. Honda's hybrid study called the InSight Concept is headed for normal production in 2009, while the fuel cell vehicle, the FC Sport, will get no further than the study phase. It's time to premiere new engines at Porsche. Starting in 2009, the Cayman will be available with diesel power. The 
3 liter V6 produces 240 horsepower and is said to use just over 9 liters of fuel to cover 100 kilometers. There's also new gasoline engines for the Cayman and Boxster. At Ford, a new Fusion is on view for the U.S. market, for the first time also available with hybrid drive. Another world premiere, this time for the new sports car from Nissan. The 370Z boasts a newly developed synchronized shifting system which monitors the clutch, the shift lever and the driving speed. This luxury car from Hyundai goes by the name of Genesis. This rear-wheel drive sporty sedan aims at stealing customers away from Lexus, Audi, BMW and Mercedes. At General Motors there were no real premieres on display. Cadillac showed off the station wagon version of its CTS headed for the market in 2009. And on display at Pontiac a version of the Solstice destined for the European market as the Opel GT. Pontiac has now put a roof on it and sells it as a coupe. The premium sports car maker Maserati presents its latest models to its most important market in the world. Here the Quattro Porte and the Gran Turismo S. The current lineup of BMW's premium brand Rolls-Royce was also on display. Another super sports car at the LA Auto Show, this time from Lamborghini, the world premiere of the Gallardo LP-4 Spider. Just perfect for the show, Ferrari brought along its California, a convertible with a retractable steel roof and 460 horsepower, and a 0 to 100 time under 4 seconds. This eye-catcher is something new from Lotus, the mid-engine coupe Evora with 280 horsepower. It's not always the issue of green on center stage in LA, even if Governor Schwarzenegger places the main focus on that 